Today's video subject is about the most boring ever. It is humidity. After historic tuning temperaments, this is probably the most boring subject known to harpsichordists. My problem is going to be keeping you awake for two minutes. So, I'm going to read you a poem. Humidity gauges used to cost £30 or more. And now, for £4, they're delivered to your door. They're cheap, they're vital. Keep your humidity constant and you can practice for a recital. Swing your humidity between high and lows and all your time on regulation goes. Some people go to great lengths to save four pounds. Here's a humidity gauge I made earlier. The cross grain timber is glued to the timber that runs the length of the pointer and as it absorbs moisture the pointer goes up and as it dries out the pointer goes down. Think of your harpsichord as a giant humidity gauge. When a harpsichord gets damp, the case and rest plank start to expand. Every piece of timber grows across the grain by a few percent. Over a long period of dampness, things happen. Strings rust. Lead weights go powdery and expand. The rest plank grows in width. The case grows in height. Glue joints start to fail. Prolonged dryness will also cause problems. Your sound all may crack, your rest plank will shrink, your case will shrink and the dampers will stop to uh, working. Your keys may start to rattle or go tight at the balance pins. The glue joints might fail and in extreme cases your harpsichord will become a pile of firewood. So what's to be done about this? In the average British summer the humidity is about 60%. If it gets higher than this, use a dehumidifier, close doors and windows, or put on a little bit of gentle heat. When it is frosty outside, the moisture in the air freeze dries. Then we heat this air inside and everything dries out even more. In order to keep humidity levels up to 50%, reduce heating, reduce airflow in and out of the room by closing doors and windows, and introduce sources of moisture such as drying washing, damp towels, steam ironing, boiling cabbage, or even, as a last resort, a humidifier. Have you gone to sleep yet? Remember, a UK-built harpsichord will be happiest in the range of 50% to 60% humidity, and a continental instrument probably in the range of 45 to 55% humidity. The more constant you keep your humidity levels, the less servicing and tuning you'll have to do. So folks, a constant humidity gives you a happy harpsichord.